Hello engineers, let me show you to the PHS Maker Space. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own 3D print of a puzzle cube piece. The puzzle cube tutorial is on YouTube, it's on the iCard up there. Um, but today we're going to actually be 3D printing it. Actually, the iCard's up there. But, um, okay, I'm going to go on the computer and show you how to get started. All right, so here I've opened it up on the computer. Uh, you just go to dglab.dremel.com and it will bring you to this site. You just gotta, if you don't have an account, you can create an account. Uh, I already have an account and I'm already signed in, but uh, you can just click up here to create an account and uh, go through the process there. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna continue from here. So what you wanna do is go to software and 3D. All right. Um, 3D software. All right. Go to Dremel Print Cloud. And this will be your uh, Dremel 3D um, uploader file upload thing. So uh, you can just click this Upload New button, uh, choose File, uh, and make sure that it is on single file, not project. Uh, and I'll show you how to get the cube part. So if I open up Fusion, uh, here I have the entire cube right here. Um, and to grab a part, I'll grab cube part number four right here. So you just right click it, um, you click export right here. Uh, if you're on a Chromebook, this will be different and you just click export. Uh, however, um, I am on a Windows computer, so it looks a bit different. If you're on a Windows computer, uh, you'd want to use the save copy as instead of export. But if you're on a Chromebook, just use this export button. Uh, and that will create a new project. So when you go to Control O or just the open thing from here, uh, a new part will appear uh, it, with the name. So Q Part 4. When you open that, it will be like this. There you go. Here's Q Part 4. And um, you'd export this the way you do any other file. Uh, file, export, and you just click export here. Um, and it will take you to this web page right here. And from here, you can just click this download button right here and click STL. Um, and it will send you an email with the STL download link. I've already done all that though, so I don't need to worry about that. So you can go to choose file here. And here's the STL file. Uh, just click open. It'll upload the file. And boom, there's the file. You don't need to do the repair, that's just kind of automatically fixes some stuff for you, but there shouldn't be any issues with it, uh, and we're going to be manually laying out the file anyway, so don't worry about repairing for now. Uh, so go to Layout here, and you can use middle mouse button to like pan around. If you don't have a mouse, uh, I don't think there is a way to pan. So you just got to deal with not being able to see it centered. Uh, currently the piece is way too big, so we need to scale the piece. And um, let's see, we want it to be half an inch. Each like block here needs, is going to be a half an inch. So it's three blocks long, so that translates into uh, three half inches, which is one and a half inches. We want to keep the proportions, so tick the little proportion checkbox. That translates to 38.1 millimeters, so I'll type that in there. And since we kept the proportions, everything else should uh, automatically change. Uh, and 25.4 is um, the amount for one inch. So see it's too long in the green and blue directions, so that translated to one inch. If you need uh, inch to millimeter conversions, just look it up on Google, inch to millimeter, and you can get it converted in that way. Yeah, because this does it in millimeters and our cube is in inches. Now, you can click move and we can put it on the bed and center it by just clicking these two buttons. And now it's inside of the 3D printer. However, there's another problem with our thing. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in by using control and scrolling. Now, if you see the problem, it's balancing on this one bit here, which is no good because there's no way it's gonna print this. Like, there's too much, there's a giant overhang here. This wouldn't even balance like this. 
So what we need to do is rotate it. Um, click on rotate and you can just add 90 degree twice to the z-axis and that flips upside down. And as you can see now it's balancing on this side when there's no overhangs and this will be able to print. Um, however some shapes it, it's impossible to avoid overhangs so just try and get the minimum overhangs that you possibly can. If one block is overhanging, that's a lot better than four blocks overhanging. So uh, just try to um, have the minimum overhangs that you possibly can. But that's very uncommon to have a block that is forced to have over overhangs. All right, so once you have this, you might want to recenter it. Just double check that it's center. Click on bed and center again. I don't think the rotation should mess that up, but just in case, make sure it's on the bed in the center. And then you can click save and boom there's our new file it directs you to my projects and here's the project cube part 4 ignore these cube part 4s those were some tests i was doing earlier but this is the one we're using right here so here's our uh initial one and here's our fixed one now we need to go to step three which is slicing uh, this blue button so when you click this it'll bring up this menu now for whatever reason it assumes that we're using a 3d40 idea builder we are not we are using a dremel 3d45 idea builder so make sure that 3d45 is selected and um, the uh, slicing profile we are using is a draft echo abs uh, make sure you're selecting draft because that will allow it to be uh, print faster and use less plastic and that's all good so this slice should be all the way up there, this slice should be all the way down, this should be it like here. Alright, RAF should be disabled, that's good. Supports, you shouldn't need supports, so I'm going to turn that off. However, if as I was saying earlier you have overhangs, you do need to turn on supports. Luckily I did not have any overhangs on this shape, uh, nor do I, I don't think any of the cubes or any of the pieces on my cube uh, do have any overhangs, so I shouldn't need any supports, but uh, if for some reason they do, just tick the support box, uh, and you can leave the recentering. So click slice after that, and it will load for a second, and load up a new file called a uh, gcdrem file. Now this is like the fully modeled, like this is just a 3D model of our cube but this is like this is like it actually designs all the 3d printing moves and stuff that the 3d printer will have to do and it's a lot bigger that's what the slicing was doing this is the print time right here uh mine 17 minutes it shouldn't be any more than 20 minutes if it is then you probably put incorrect things in the slice menu so make sure you didn't like mess around with those sliders and uh, it is in eco um draft whatever make sure that you selected the right one in that list and it's the dremel 3045 if for some reason you still have an enormous amount of time make sure you sized it correctly too maybe you'd redo the steps you can also preview it here if uh double check there's no problems mine looks okay doesn't look like there's any problems so i can close that and finally the final step is to build but uh, i don't have the printer registered so i'm going to switch back to me in the fabrication lab to uh, show you how to register the printer all right so now here's the 3d printer i'm going to show you how to get this onto the printer so first you want to click on printers up here and that will allow you to register Dremel Idea Builder. You wanna click that, and it will ask for a registration token, which we need from the printer. So you wanna click Tools, Settings, uh, Clouds, and Dremel Print, and it will ask you if you want a token. You do, it'll load up for a second, and then, okay, what's the token? Uh, 6Y9LX5, why? Yours will be different. Um, this is just randomly generated, and it was registered. And boom, it asks, "Is this your account?" Yes, it is. And you can then go back out here, and when you go into um, the file now, go into my projects, open up your part, and when now when you click build next to print this month, or when you click build then the printer will be here. So you can tick my printer and click print. 
and it should begin printing. So it's got to load up the design, and there we go. The printer has started. And one more thing, you got to write your name right here. So I'm going to write my name. And my, I'm an engineer. Seven, okay. And this is a puzzle cube piece. And the filament type is, as you remember, eco ABS. And the print time was 17 minutes. And that should be all you need to do. Uh, and into the time lapse. Hey, sorry about the angle. I couldn't get a better angle of the piece without putting the phone inside the printer, uh, which I'm not going to do. Um, anyway, when you actually make it, there is a live webcam feature. It's just the Chromebook I was using was really slow, so I didn't use that. All right, so the print has finished. You can click accept, and now you can open the door that it's finished. Be careful not to touch the platform because it's quite hot. And you can shake it off. There it is. Make sure to remove the uh, little uh, raft and close the door. And you can discard the raft. But here is the finished piece. So here's your piece. And make sure to like and subscribe and follow my tutorials next time. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.